Hey, welcome back to my channel. I have some Dollar Tree Boho DIYs for you today. So I got this little wood round from Amazon, a pack is 60 and I will link them down below. And I just painted it, just one coat with some plaster Waverly chalk paint. And I have some of the Boho transfers from Dollar Tree. I finally found them so I got a few packs. And I'm just going to cut out which ones that I want to use for this DIY. These transfers are so pretty. I don't think I will use the TPs or some of the ones on it, but a lot of them I'm definitely going to use and I do use in this video. So I just cut them the rest of them out off camera and now I'm just placing them on, deciding which way I want them to go on this mini palette from Dollar Tree. And then I'm cutting them in half. And then I'm just going to transfer them to either side, putting it right to the very edge. I'm just using my Cricut tool to transfer it and just don't pull the whole thing off in one go because if there's any bits that you haven't transferred you can just put the plastic back down and then rub over it again. You can also use a craft stick for this, popsicle stick. You'll see me using a piece of one later on and I will finish transferring these on off camera. So don't worry that there's nothing in the middle because we're going to cover it with a circle. So. I'm just placing some of the other pieces that I cut out and just just um, put them down and figure out what way you want to put them. Yeah, I decided I wanted to use this Be Brave and this arrow and the feathers. And then I just transferred them the same as I did for the rest of them and this one's funny because I should be brave and put my face on camera but I don't want to maybe one day so these ones transferred on circle much easier than they did on the palette I don't know if it's because there's paint on it I don't know <laughs> and I will finish this part off camera and then I'm just using my hot glue gun to attach the circle to the front and then I'm going to attach two turbo blocks to the back. If you wanted you could put some twine and some beads to make a hanger, that would look pretty. But I wanted to have a wee stand inside. And this is how it turned out. I think this might be my favourite DIY of the video. It just turned out so pretty. I have one of the smallest nesting boxes from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take a screwdriver and take the hardware off. And don't throw the hardware away because you might use it one day. <laughs> I have so many of them now, I don't know if I'll ever use them but I'll keep them anyway. And this wee screwdriver set from Dollar Tree and it comes in handy. <laughs> and then I'm just using some wood glue to glue some half beads on the bottom. And I'm making sure that the side with the holes is on the bottom. I'm using more of the boho transfers and I decided to use the... Is it a cow? I don't know what it is. <laughs> the skull anyway. 
and the I needed to cut this down so it could fit one side and then I had to cut down cut another one from and the next pack to put at the other side so I just measured and cut these pieces so that they would fit inside and then I'm just going to stick them down and using a wee popsicle stick and then I changed it for another popsicle stick <laughs> oh no I changed it for this tool to see if this would work I don't know I ended up using another little tiny piece of craft stick and that worked I just do the rest of it off camera and this is how it turned out it's so cute and simple and I really love it I like how it says Steel Wild This time I have one of the medium sized nesting boxes and I'm just going to take the hardware off again. And I'm just using some of the Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue. And I'm going to glue in these half beads. I'm putting a bigger one in the corners and then five along each side. And they don't fit close together, so just leave a tiny, not noticeable gap between them all. And as always, I will link the beads down below. And you don't have to leave these the colour they are, you can always paint them, you can paint the beads, stain them. I do stain them at the end of the video, the last DIY. I'll just do a nice easy DIYs today. And if you can't find these transfers, they have so many nice ones. And they always have stickers as well. And I don't know if Hobby Lobby and stuff sells transfers. Maybe one of you guys knows. Because if they do, I'm gonna go have a look. <laughs> I haven't been there in ages. So once I've stuck all the beads down, I'm just going to transfer the transfer in the middle. And I'm using the feathers and also there's a little like blue dots at the bottom of the feathers, like a line of them. So I just cut off another line of blue dots to put along the top of the feathers. I just used my weeding tool from Cricut, but you get them from Dollar Tree too, just to take the plastic out because I just couldn't get out of my nail for some reason. So I decided I wanted to put something around the, the edge, so I decided to go for these wee arrows. I was gonna put the feathers, but then I decided on the arrows. So yeah, just place everything out before you stick it down and make sure that that's how you actually want to have it. Sometimes I take a while deciding. See here, I was maybe going to do the feathers, so maybe you might like the feathers better and might do them. Then I thought I might do the arrows in the middle and the feathers. <laughs> and then I decided to do the arrows the way I had them in the first place. So now I already beaded up some twine. <laughs> I put six beads on it and I have some little pieces of popsicle stick 
and I'm just going to glue them down with hot glue and make a hanger. And this is how it turned out. I really love how it turned out. I don't usually like unfinished wood but I think it works well with these DIYs. Definitely don't like the tower blocks unfinished. But I think they look much better stained. But these look good. Have another mini palette from Dollar Tree and I already decided which transfers I'm going to put on it. Now you can paint the palettes or stain them if you want to, but I decided just to leave it natural. And this time I chose the follow your dreams transfer and the feathers and some of the arrows. And I'm just doing the same thing, using my Cricut tool to transfer them. And I will finish this part off camera. So now I'm going to make tassels. Well, I'm just going to show you one. And I've never made a tassel before, but I've seen other people do it. <laughs> so I just wrapped some twine around three of my fingers six times. And then I threaded a bit of twine through it and then I tied another piece of twine around <laughs> around it and then I cut off the bottom and then I'm just going to use this wee doggy brush that I got from Dollar Tree to brush out twine and stuff to make tassels but I never got around to making one. <laughs> So I'll just do that and brush it all out. And then I trimmed off the end and then I just put some hot glue on one end and then I threaded a larger bead, a medium bead and a smaller bead. And I made three of these and I'm just tying them at the top now so the beads don't move around. And then I'm going to hot glue them to the back of the sign. And you don't have to add the beads and tassels if you don't want to. It looked pretty without it, but I just wanted to add something extra. And this is how it turned out, and I think it turned out so pretty. I love these transfers and the colours in them. I can't wait to see what Dollar Tree comes out with next. I have five of the nesting boxes. I have one large one, two medium and two small. And I'm just going to take the hardware off the front of all of them. And I'll do the rest of them off camera. I stained them with some early American wood stain and then I printed off these suns, moons with roses on my Cricut and I couldn't find a star with roses around it but I found roses with some stars around them so I printed them off and I'm just going to show you me transferring the sun and then I will transfer the rest of them off camera and you can always use the Dollar Tree stickers or stencils and then you can get stickers at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Amazon, <laughs> Michaels. So yeah, it doesn't matter if you don't have a Cricut, you can always find something pretty to put on them. I just love suns and moons and stuff, so I always end up picking stuff like that. You can choose whatever stuff you like for your DIYs. I'm just using some ink with Lee chalk paint, but you can use any black paint. And I'm just going to paint the top edge of all the boxes. And looking at the video now, I don't know, maybe I should have not done this part. Because <laughs> they look really nice on the camera there. But you guys can let me know what you think. Yeah, maybe you guys wouldn't even do black. 
It's my favorite color. <laughs> so let me know what colors you would pick. Or yeah, what you would have done instead. If I had more of that burlap ribbon that I had in the last video, I would put that around the inside of these. I didn't have any. And last time I went to Dollar Tree, I seen it and didn't pick it up because I thought I had another pack. <laughs> you can never have enough of that stuff. And I'm just distressing it on all the edges, on all the boxes. And you don't have to do this either, it's up to you. And I'm going to use some of the Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue and I'm going to glue the boxes together. You could glue them all flush along the bottom if you wanted to, but I wanted to do them like this. I did think about just gluing them together flush on the bottom and standing it up and putting some half beads on the bottom so I could just like sit on a shelf or something but then I decided just to go back with my original idea <laughs> so I'm just hot gluing on some popsicle sticks and some twine to make a hanger and I'm doing it like this because I think that it will be able to it will be able to it will be easier to make it straight if I do it like this like how you would hang uh, not like a big picture. <laughs> and this is how it turned out. It's hard to see because the light is shining on it. <laughs> but I love the suns and the moons and I think it turned out really pretty. You can always put like crystals or some trinkets or something on it if you want to. Let me know which of these DIYs was your favourite in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again, bye!